October 2022 was a busy but very successful month for China's space program agency. They launched six orbital missions in total, but one mission was considered truly successful and took a significant portion of the credit, outstanding the world with its success. The Wenchang module was successfully launched. Wenchang is the final component of China's T-shaped Tiangong space station. Its successful landing officially marked the beginning of the completion of Tiangong's assembly phase in the start of full operations and experiments for the orbital outpost backed by the International Space Station. The Tiangong Space Station is the world's second fully operational space station ready for new experiments from China and around the world. Aside from the Wenchang module launch, China also launched a mysterious Xi'an 20C satellite into orbit, raising several concerns, but the results as the name Xi'an implies experiment are yet to be seen. Overall, the Wenchang launched as significantly advanced China in the race to space. Today, we'll discuss what happens after the successful Wenchang module launch and how the completed Tiangong space station will solidify China's position in space. A major topic right now and may very well be in the future, the Wenchang launched was considered a successful mission and has officially docked with a Chinese space station that's already in orbit. According to the Chinese space agency, there were no hiccups or delays along the way and everything went like clockwork. Wenchang was launched into space on Monday afternoon from the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center on the southern coast of China, Hainan, an island province. The flight and docking mission was expected to take about 13 hours. From an adjacent beach, a huge crowd of amateur photographers, space aficionados, and others watched the launch. Many wore t-shirts and waved Chinese flags reflecting the profound national pride invested in the space program and what this technological advances represents for China. The launch was also broadcast live around the world by official sources as well as several space enthusiasts channels with both large and small audiences. Wenchang was the Tiangong Space Station's third and final module, although the Chinese space agency intends to send their own telescope. The Tiangong Station, the T-shaped structure, is now officially finished. Adjustments are still expected to be made later, but for the time being, the nation can be proud of its victory, and quite rightly so. As essential and remarkable as space missions are, launching the entire space station into orbit along with its experimental modules and then sending crewed and cargo missions later on is a significant accomplishment. And the result is a historic moment that will be remembered for years to come. Not only that, but its neighbor, the International Space Station, is expected to be decommissioned soon, solidifying the stance of the Tiangong Space Station, which will be become the only working space station in orbit. If they haven't already, the people's attention will be drawn to China's presence in space. In the past, China has revealed plans to work with international partners as well as welcome international assistance and collaborative effort in the space sector, specifically their space station. Wenchang, like its predecessors, was launched in a long March 5B care area rocket, a member of China's most powerful launch vehicle family. Tiangong is currently manned by a crew of three astronauts, two males and a lone female. Chen Dong, Kai Suzhe, and Liu Yang arrived on board in early June for a six-month stay, during which time they're expected to finish assembling the space station, perform spacewalks, and conduct additional experiments as well. Aside from that, the crew was extremely helpful in docking the Wenchang. According to Ni Le Xiang, a professor at Shanghai University of Political Science and Law, the module will be connected to the space station with the assistance of experts on the ground. 
The space program is like a symbol of a major nation and a boost to China's national defense modernization. It also helped boost the China people's confidence, sparking patriotism and positive energy. Following Wen Cheng's arrival, another uncrewed Kanzhou cargo ship is scheduled to dock with the station next month, with another crewed mission scheduled at which time crews may overlap because Tiangong has enough room for six astronauts anyway. Wenchang weighs approximately 23 tons, measures 17.9 meters in length, and its diameter is 4.2 meters. It will make room for scientific experiments in zero gravity, an airlock to expose the crew to space vacuum, and a small robotic arm that will aid extravehicular payloads. The already circling 23-ton Wenchang or the Quest for the Heavens Laboratory is intended specifically for science and and biology experiments and is heavier than any other single module spacecraft currently in operation. The station will have approximately 110 cubic meters of pressurized interior space, including the 32 cubic meters added by the permanent Chinese station, and will weigh approximately 66 tons, which is a fraction of the size of the International Space Station, which launched its first module in 1998 and weighs approximately 465 tons and has a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. If the ISS follows its 30-year operation plan, Tiangong may one day become the only space station in operation. As previously stated, the completion of the Tiangong Space Station and the Wenchang module is a source of pride not only for the Chinese nation and its people, but for the entire world. China has already been and continues to be a leader in the space culture for several nations. These are the countries that cannot afford to launch their own space stations, which is where China comes in. In a previously released white paper, China stated their intention to collaborate with several countries including France, Pakistan, Italy, Germany, Russia and the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs on a variety of projects ranging from microgravity physics to aerospace medicine. China has many more extraterrestrial ambitions in the works for the next decade. It intends to establish a base at the moon's southernmost point and then deploy a telescope from there with a field of view 300 times that of the Hubble. It also plans to collect samples from Mars, among other plans. Some of these advancements are expected to occur sooner than comparable deadlines set by NASA or the European Space Agency. China has already decided to open the Tiangong Space Station to all United Nations member states. According to one of the station's designers, Tiangong is inclusive and was designed to be adaptable for non-Chinese astronauts and at least 1,000 experimental studies will be conducted in the station, mostly involving Chinese researchers but also projects led by researchers from 17 other countries including Russia, Kenya, Japan, Peru, and Mexico. These countries and regions are those struggling to fund their own space initiatives. While the United States has decades more operational experience than China, China's readiness to collaborate with other countries may be working to establish its place as a space power today. China has signed 46 space cooperation agreements with 19 different countries and regions since 2016. While the Tiangong Space Station will not be a strong competitor to the mighty international Space Station, which holds 16 modules, it will remain in orbit after the ISS retires and will hold experiments from all over the world. Regardless of the size of their space agencies, the United States and China continue to compete in space and the future is unknown.
Recent events, however, have indicated one thing. China is gaining control. With its advancements and collaboration, the entire world will absolutely benefit. Everything about the successful Wenchang launch, what comes after it, and the possibilities to cover other nations with the help of the entire Tangong Space Station. It's time to call it a day on this one.